It's <laughs> getting used to the long leash. Hey, Bobbit. There's all kinds of trails and you can go like really far. We went up that one the other day. But the thing is, you got to be really, really careful because you can get lost in the desert. Because in different situations, it can all look the same. I even had it. Sometimes the trail can look like the other part of it after a while. or It's just really hard to explain, but you can get lost very easily. Especially like if you go out a long ways. Because there's so many different paths and trails. So you got to be really, really careful. I've never been lost on a hike before, but I try to stick to designated areas to know where I'm going. And I've never che checked out any of these trails before, only almost to the top of that mountain, but hill, sorry. But um, it was getting dark and I decided for us, me and James and the pups to come down, but uh, I still want to go up there, but it is a little bit steep to navigate it. So, but I'm really want to try that. steep one which is um called avalanche <laughs> that's in um is it glacier national park or was that it oh no sorry 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 that was in yellowstone and um that one's crazy it goes straight up just like that one but it's a long trail it's up to you're up to like ten thousand feet or so but coming down i was falling on my butt all the way down and the kids were laughing at me <laughs> That one was challenging, but it was really, really fun. It's so beautiful. And it's a nice temperature right now, too. Just a little quick walk before we go back and relax. This weekend was a little busy, though. There was more people. Now there, I just see, like, one camper here, one here. But you can go out so far. We just don't know how far out you can really get it's supposed to be 53,000 acres but um there there can be people camped way out there you can just go keep going on and on and on you can go out as far as you want to which is pretty cool And we haven't been on the road past this way. We see a lot of off-roaders going that way, but um, we didn't want to take the vehicles yet. Probably take the off-road vehicle to go that way. And we just had a big storm too. It was really windy earlier and then all of a sudden it stopped. The thing about here is the winds can be really unpredictable. And um, you can get caught up in like 80 mile an hour gusts and stuff like that. I don't know if it really gets higher wind speeds than that. I, I imagine it's possible with climate change because I've been seeing some really high winds like at the bottom of the cars like where cars can't drive and all kinds of crazy stuff and they said that yesterday during the storm there was a tornado watch in Orange County, San Diego County all over and like eight tornadoes or something and I'm gonna check the news later and see if any of them touch ground beautiful desert. I like the desert, but I also like the forest. And I love the diversity. But I can't decide which one that I like better. Because they both serve two totally different purposes and different things that you can do. This is good, like, if you want to take your mountain. You can take mountain bikes on this, too. And you can do it in the winter time when you can't go so much in the mountains in the winter. You can, but then limited to like snowshoeing, skiing, things like that, which I haven't really taken up yet. 
and I might. Maybe the snowshoeing, that one sounds kind of cool. But the roads kind of haven't really navigated those too much, just a few times. Like we took a trip to Yosemite Valley years ago and we went during Thanksgiving and I thought, oh, it'll be fine as long as you're not driving when it's snowing. But the problem is, is the ice melts on the road and makes black ice. And But we got lucky. A family early in the morning when they went, they wiped off and went off the mountain. But we went a little bit later. But where we used to live, it got black ice conditions all the time. But I would just miss them or a different down the road or somewhere else. The same temperature, like it would get down 17 degrees. I never encountered ice on the road or black ice, but other people did. And it just depends. Like I came up the pass on Christmas one time when I was working and it was four o'clock in the morning. And there was a pile up like an hour or two after I got home. So that was pretty crazy. <laughs> so nice out here you can just think and relax unwind and you could walk this drive it bike it, take it. you can take RC car toys here too which I kind of want to fix my RC car toys and take them here or this might even be really cool for flying a drone but it might be kind of necessary I'm trying to stick with things that are necessary to get from now on. I don't want to get things that are sitting there. But I think it might be necessary. I mean, if the pet gets lost or something like that, you can just use the drone. So it might be like a really cool idea.